you're here at the Google Analytics User Conference in San Francisco. I'm here with uh, Paul Mure, Director of Engineering at Google, and Phil Mui, the Group uh, Product Manager, Google Analytics. And uh, I would like, first of all, congratulations on the new version of Google Analytics. It, it looks amazing. And I would like, first of all, would you share with us a little bit about what you do at Google? Sure. So uh, I'm an engineering director at Google. And I oversee, in addition to Google Analytics, several products in the data analysis and reporting area, including reporting for DoubleClick, DFA, and AdWords conversion tracking, uh, Google Trends and Insights for Search, and uh, what's and a few others. So anything that has to do with tools that help advertisers and publishers be successful through reporting, that tends to fall in my area. Okay. Phil? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm Phil. Um, I'm uh, the lead PM for Google Analytics, and uh, that's that's what I do. <laughs> Phil is the main product manager for for analytics. He's, uh, he needs to take more credit. He really, really <laughs> drives the show. It's just really great. Okay. And would you share with us some? Uh, we had the new version uh, announcement today. So would you share with us some of the highlights of the, the new version? Now, really, as Paul mentioned in the announcement earlier today. This is really a platform upgrade for Google Analytics. Uh, for the past year, the engineering team under Paul has worked very hard to revamp not just a look and feel of the front end, but really every layer of the stack, all the way to the storage layer. And this is a very significant platform upgrade uh, that would be the basis for many new features in the upcoming few years. So we are very excited that uh, we are finally at the end of the tunnel for shipping out this new, new platform. Uh, along with a few features that will debut in the next few weeks. But definitely, uh, uh, watch your analytics account in the next few months. Uh, some of the major features will be debuting in the next few months. It's kind of like when, when Apple went from OS 9 and OS 10. You know, OS 9 had kind of reached its limit of what, of what it could do. And it was very painful for them to make the switch to OS 10. But once they were there, now you can see how they were really able to accelerate. I think we were in the same position. We just completed, I think, a, uh, a major overhaul of most of the systems inside of the to this new platform. And we're positioned very well to move forward uh, more broadly and also with more execution. So we're very excited about this. I guess uh, the whole industry is very excited about this. So, one of the things, Paul, you have came all the way from Urchin, you were the CEO uh, at Urchin. And what is the one thing that you, when you look back, you say, well, that's the thing that we got right at the Urchin? It's a great question. Um, you know, the, the one thought on that is, you know, we, we had a value at Urchin, which was we really wanted to kind of part of the democratize the web feeling. We wanted to make this great technology available to everyone, which meant we wanted to make sure it was simple and easy to use. And when we built features and functionality, we, we didn't, at the beginning, we didn't focus too much on the wins of a few, you know, really large customers. We wanted to really focus on everyone. And I think that, that, I think, is now instilled in our team um, a great value of trying to make something that's complex really easy to use. And it turns out that even for our largest users, that's exactly what they need to so I think um, I feel very proud about that. That uh, we and that's very similar and very in line with Google's overall values, of really helping everyone uh, around the world. Um, and we want to do the same. We want to make sure that in every country that we're launching in, and every part of the world that uh, you can get access to spend amazing technology, to help your business or whatever it is you're working on be more successful. Okay. We we we've seen this week. We we also had the the Dutch driven business week with the Emetrix Marketing Optimization Summit, and we see that many companies are really taking analytics. I mean, they're taking action with it. So it's getting very exciting that everyone is uh, is using it. So how do you see the future? What I mean, you talked about the this new platform Google Analytics has created. How do you see? The future of the industry. I mean, we, can, we can both talk about this. I think it's. I mean, it, it's really a major sea change in the way that companies are using data. 
And I, I really feel like it's only just now that organizations are really starting to incorporate data and signals that are this clear from you know, analytics and other tools into their actual decision-making process. Um, and so they're just simply asking for more and really want to understand how to get out this information. We're going to see, so it, there's going to be an incredible breadth of expansion and sort of the number of touch points that people want to be able to track and monitor with their customer bases and their users. And then I think they're going to be, then you get to a point where there's so much information and so much data that the intelligence and the modeling and what can we do on top of that data to help help you learn what's actually happening in there. And uh, I think that's why being a part of Google has been tremendous for us in that it's an, you know, an amazing company with amazing talent and really a leader in many of the uh, AI and other you know, machine learning systems. And starting to incorporate that kind of intelligence directly into the product, I think has continued to be a big wave of future. Cool. Uh, very much echoes what Paul mentioned, however it's a supplement. Uh, two quick points. Um, the first is um, that, as we mentioned earlier today, the way that people interact with someone's brand or product is now more than just over the web, web level. But it's also over social channels, over various devices, um, over display ads, etc. As web analytics, as an industry, as we mature, I think what we will be seeing is we'll be branching out of simply doing web analytics to also track the various modalities that people interact with products in the brand. And that's very much an area that uh, we in the Google Analytics team uh, uh, is setting as a strategic direction for the product. Another area that I think uh, will change significantly for the industry is um, the past 10 years, if you take a look at almost every major vendor, the core granularity at which people analyze your traffic is based on the idea of a session. Like think about our favorite marketing metrics that you know today. Conversion rate, uh, bounce rate. All of these have the idea of number of people that come to a site do something. Number of sessions divided by total number of sessions. Now, most marketers came from a world where session doesn't mean the same thing to them as a webmaster. To them, for, for marketers particularly, people care about people, marketers care about audience, marketers care about how they drive their marketing message to a group of unique users. I think there's an opportunity for the next uh, few years um, as different vendors try to figure out how to track across sessions for users and to provide intelligence around what people are doing across sessions there is an opportunity for the industry to grow beyond simply session level tracking that we have all been very familiar with. It sounds like a very bright future. We're looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.